a, a great student activist who's here on behalf of a, of a great student successful movement. Um, I'm going to be introducing Lottie um, from the University of Manchester Rent Strike. Um, Lottie um, is part of a group that has made amazing wins over the past few days. If you haven't been on Twitter, if you haven't been on social media, get on it because you will see the amazing work that they've done as part of, of this student movement as part of getting justice for students, as part of making sure that students get better and, and letting the university know and, and hear it loud and clear that students deserve better. And um, so Lottie, the floor is yours. Let us know about all of this amazing work that you've done, the wins you've achieved and, and teach us, please. I, I, I'm so excited to hear from you. Yeah, hi. Um, thank you so much for having me. What a wonderful um, array of speakers to, to follow. So um, yeah, I'm Lot. Um, I'm from the University of Manchester. I'm a first year student um, and I'm currently on rent strike. And I was also one of the tower occupiers who was in the Owens Park Tower um, at Manchester University recently. Um, and I can assure you that these none of these were actions that we wanted we wanted to take, um, but they were a consequence of the university um, not listening to our concerns when we arrived at campus and not taking seriously all the issues that we raised about how our transition to university had been um, inadequate at at best. Um, you know, obviously we were we kind of lured onto campus under the false pretense of face to face teaching, which was very apparent very very quickly once we got here that that was not a reality that was going to happen, and understandably so with COVID. But we do strongly believe that um, the university was well well aware that it would never be a reality, and um, that they did lie to us to to bring us onto campus to make sure that we we were going to to pay our rent. Um, however, unfortunately, at Manchester, um, the issues really didn't didn't stop there. Um, for isolating flats when you know there was an inevitable COVID outbreak due to the living in close close quarters with everybody, um, there was no support from the university around getting food, doing laundry, collecting mail. Um, you know, to the point where the university kind of they did advise certain flats to to go out and go food shopping, um, even if they had tested positive for COVID, if that was the only way for them to get food. Um, and we feel like that should have never happened. The university should have should have had an action plan in place. Um, we've also had flooding within our accommodation and pests, um, not to mention, you know, the racial profiling that Zach spoke so eloquently about earlier. Um, we also have confirmed from the university that um, a few days uh, around the same time as, as this incident with Zach, um, a peaceful protest was planned to be held on campus um, around many of these issues and um, the university did call the police and ask the police to come down to accommodation um, campus around that issue. And so we did end up with riot vans, um, you know, outside the places that we live. Um, so it's become very apparent that the university administration does not care about us. They do, they do not care. No thought was put into our move to university. Um, it has all been been about profits but this is not a Manchester specific problem across the country hundreds of thousands of students were moved during a global pandemic um, simply to be profited off by multiple universities um, you know we've known for a while now that universities have been running like businesses however I think the the global pandemic has definitely heightened this issue and, and made it a lot more obvious um, so we you know we have been on rent strike since October um, but we are rent striking not just in, in protest of what happened in September, October and November, um, but also in solidarity with our fellow students in second and third year who, you know, are facing many of the same issues that we're facing, um, but on, are in private accommodation, so cannot rent strike the same way that we can. You know, we are fighting against the greater issue of the marketization of universities and how this has become um, precedent for universities to prioritise profit over their staff and over their students. Um, but this is a national movement. This isn't just a Manchester rent strike. It's not just a Bristol rent strike. Um, in January, we will have hundreds of thousands of students on rent strike, hopefully, um, withholding millions of pounds from universities across the country. Um, and like, I have to admit that when I came to university, I was expecting to do some campaigning work, but um, campaigning against my university um, and against, you know, being treated just kind of not not really in like humans and not not kind of being respected by my university is really it's not the campaign that I that I kind of envisioned was gonna was gonna happen but the people that I've met um 
through the rent strikes and through all the solidarity from students, you know, inside and outside the tower to the local campaigning groups that have supported us to the national network of rent strikers in the NUS. The power and dedication and solidarity has been stronger than ever during this time. And um, I think it's it's clear that we're going to keep fighting for, for what we believe in. Um, you know, in Manchester, we, we did recently uh, win no penalty early release clauses from our contracts, meaning that anyone in halls can go home and cancel their rent contracts, which is brilliant, um, as well as a 30% rent reduction for semester one, um, which is current, you know, which is, is an amazing, an amazing win. And it didn't come around without a lack of fighting and a lack of solidarity and a lack of, you know, really coming together in this sense that, you know, not only do students deserve better, but like students really do demand better. And we are going to keep fighting. Um, but it's not over for Manchester. We're going to remain on rent strike in January to make sure that we hold the university accountable. They've told us that they're going to improve our mental health services. They've told us that they're going to improve the maintenance issues, but we will not believe it until we see it. And we will continue to rent strike and continue to fight until we can see these things actually change actually changing. Um, I think January is going to be a massive moment for students across the country, um, you know, whether that be through through the rent strike or through the Students Deserve Better movement, you know, we're all here together kind of campaigning for an education, you know, without debt and without that feeling of, of exploitation. Um, so yeah, I would say to anyone out there who's listening, who's not involved, get involved. Find your local rent strike at your local uni that you're in, that you that you attend. Obviously, um, if there isn't one, start one. Why not? We have a massive network of students um, who are all organising rent strikes. Many who have I've never organised a rent strike before. You know, we're all new in this together, and we're all supporting each other. And yeah, we're here to fight together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Lot. And, and I think that was the perfect, um, that's a perfect little bit to end on. I think it's important that, you know, action is already happening and people are already standing up and, and winning. Students are already winning. Like when I heard and saw everything that had developed with UOM and Rent Strike, I said, yeah, this is why I joined this movement because students are powerful. And when students tell you they deserve better, they're gonna get better, whether you like it or not. And and you are a testament to that. The whole of URM rent strike are a testament to, to student power. Um, and I think it's it's really wrapped up the importance of that collective action, the importance of shared solidarity, the importance of being able to know that you have a right to fight. And when you do fight, you will see wins and you will see results. Um, and I guess that leads me on to, um, to bringing us um, to the end of this amazing rally. 